Singapore. One of the world's busiest hub ports and thriving international maritime centres is well connected to 600 ports in more than 120 countries, where a ship enters or leaves the port every two to three minutes. There are about 1,000 ships in the port at any point in time. With a steady growth in trade and maritime activities over the years, the Port of Singapore has been experiencing an upward trend in shipping arrivals and is constantly evolving to keep up with the ever-growing demand. Playing an integral role in the hub port ecosystem, the Singapore bunkering industry is a multi-billion dollar sector which generates wider economic spin-offs for the economy. As an industry driver, the Maritime and Port Authority of Singapore, or the NPA, plays a dynamic and proactive role in the development and growth of the Singapore bunkering industry, working with all stakeholders to develop effective bunkering standards. The Singapore Standard for Bunkering lays down the operational requirements and procedures for bunkering. Notably, this standard advocates custody transfer sampling a procedure well recognised by the International Maritime Organisation, or the IMO. This standard also spells out the proper procedures for bunker quantity measurement. Singapore is also the first in the world to develop the Quality Management for Bunker Supply Chain, or QMBS, which is aimed at assuring bunker quality and quantity. As an industry leader, Singapore is often regarded as a role model the International Organisation for Standardisation, or the ISO, has acknowledged this role and adopted Singapore's bunkering standards as benchmarks in the development of international standards. With such recognition, it is no wonder that over 30 million tonnes of bunkers are transacted in the Republic every year, affirming the Port of Singapore as a leader in efficient and quality bunkering services. The MPA also puts in place measures to ensure high industry performance. The accreditation scheme for bunker suppliers recognises quality bunker suppliers in the Port of Singapore, whilst the standards for port limit bunker tankers and the gate system helps maintain a modern, efficient and environmentally friendly fleet of bunker tankers in the Port of Singapore. To enhance the attractiveness of lifting bunkers in the port, the MPA also sets aside dedicated sea space in the form of special bunkering anchorages with attractive port dues rates and pilotage exemption granted. This scheme is also made convenient with an electronic booking and allocation system and simplified port clearance procedures. The success of the Singapore bunkering industry is made possible by the strong industry partnership and collaboration. The MPA adopts active industry consultation and discussions by providing invigorating platforms for stakeholders to engage in continual upgrading and enhancement of the Singapore bunkering industry. The Singapore Standard for Bunkering stipulates the procedures and requirements for the delivery of bunkers by bunker tankers to vessels in the port of Singapore. This includes documentation, equipment and verification checks covering the pre-delivery, actual delivery and post-delivery of bunkers. Apart from stipulating the technical requirements and safety procedures for a proper bunker delivery, it also requires bunkering service providers to act responsibly and professionally. Bunker suppliers shall, unless agreed contractually by the buyer, supply bunkers of a quality that either conforms to or are better than ISO 8217 standard. A complete bunkering operation entails the cargo officer of the bunker tanker to prepare these documents for the chief engineer of the receiving vessel. Pre-delivery safety checklist. Bunker requisition form. Non-cargo tank declaration or inspection form tank gauging and calculation form and bunker delivery note. Any cancellation or amendment on these forms shall be signed by the chief engineer and cargo officer. Other required warning notices in position. Have the emergency signals and shutdown procedure been agreed to? 
Is there safe access between the bunker tanker and receiving vessel? These are just some of the questions in the bunkering pre-delivery safety checklist, which has to be completed and signed by both the chief engineer and cargo officer. Before commencement of the bunkering operation, the chief engineer is required to confirm the bunker supply nomination and key requirements with the cargo officer and ensure that these are recorded on the bunker requisition form. The non-cargo tank declaration form is a declaration by the cargo officer on the contents and measurements of non-cargo tanks and spaces on board the bunker tanker. Upon completing part one of the form, the cargo officer shall invite the chief engineer and bunker surveyor, if engaged, to inspect or gauge the tanks and verify the declaration. Part two of the declaration form shall be used only in the event of a quantity dispute. The opening and closing tank gauging and all cargo temperature readings shall be witnessed by the chief engineer and cargo officer and recorded on the tank gauging and calculation form. At least two copies of this form are to be duly completed and signed. The original shall be retained by the bunker tanker while the duplicate shall be given to the chief engineer. The bunker delivery note is used to record the basic specifications and quantity of bunkers actually delivered to the vessel. Upon completion of the bunker delivery, the cargo officer shall prepare the bunker delivery note for the chief engineer to sign. At least two copies of the completed bunker delivery note shall be signed by both parties, with their names clearly printed on and endorsed with the bunker tanker and receiving vessel stamps. Prior to the commencement of the bunker delivery, representatives of the bunker tanker, receiving vessel and bunker surveyor, if engaged, shall have a pre-delivery conference. This is to establish safe working practices and effective communications between all parties involved in the bunkering operation. Every bunker tanker shall carry its latest certified tank calibration tables and the ASTM D1250 Petroleum Measurement Table 54B, Table 56 and approved measurement equipment. The Chief Engineer shall first verify the reference heights of the bunker tanker's cargo tanks and check the measurement equipment before witnessing the gauging and cargo temperature measurements of both nominated and non-nominated tanks. The trim and list of the bunker tanker are to be recorded and applied accordingly. For all grades of bunkers, water cut shall be taken using water finding paste. Oil indicating paste shall be used when gauging marine gas oil MGO, tanks. Custody transfer sampling shall apply to all bunker deliveries in the port of Singapore. The point of the sampling shall be at the manifold of the receiving vessel. Before the delivery of the bunker, the chief engineer shall inspect the sampling equipment and ensure that the sampling container is clean before fixing it to the end of the sampling probe and security sealed. The unique seal number shall be recorded in the tank gauging and calculation form. The needle valve should be set and sealed to ensure that a continuous drop sample is collected throughout the entire bunkering operation. Once the pre-delivery requirements are satisfied and the bunker hose is properly connected, bunkering shall commence upon confirmation by the chief engineer. Clear communication and safe operating practices shall be maintained throughout the bunkering operation. After the pumping operation is completed, the bunkers contained in the bunker hose shall be cleared into the receiving vessel's bunker tank. Once the line clearing process is completed, the residue contents in the hose shall be drained back into the bunker tanker before final gauging is taken. After delivery, it is strongly advised that the chief engineer witness the reading of the closing gauge and cargo temperatures of all the bunker tanker's cargo oil tanks. The actual quantity of bunker delivered shall be based on the bunker tanker's tank gauging and relevant calculations. The chief engineer shall then verify the amount against that stated in the bunker delivery note. In the event of any quantity differences, both parties should recheck their tank gauging and calculations. If the difference remains unresolved, both parties should raise their note of protest 
and launch it with the Singapore Shipping Association, or SSA, and MPA within 14 days of delivery. Upon completion of bunker delivery, the chief engineer should confirm that the security seals of the sampling container and the needle valve have not been tampered with. Once the parties are satisfied with the sample collected, this sample shall be properly stirred to promote homogeneity. The homogeneous sample is then poured into sample bottles for distribution as follows. Two for the vessel. One to be retained by the bunker tanker. One for the bunker surveyor. One for the testing laboratory. The sample bottle shall be sealed in the presence of all parties with uniquely numbered security seals and recorded on the die cut labels and bunker delivery note. All samples retained by the bunker tanker shall be kept for at least 30 days from the date of sampling. The Singapore Standard has provided the assurance of quality and quantity of bunkers lifted in the Port of Singapore. The Standard is reviewed regularly by the MPA, SSA, Spring Singapore and various stakeholders from the industry so as to ensure it remains relevant and effective to further entrench Singapore's premier bunkering position in the world.